week away from the 4th of July, Tulsa River Parks is still trying to raise money to get the fund of Freedom Fest. And tonight's To The Point, 2 News anchor Russ McCaskey sits down with one of the event organizers to find out how it's going. Happy today to have Tanya Pitzer with us from River Parks. Thanks for being with us. Thanks so much. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the 4th of July coming up because you guys do a great job every year with the, the fireworks show, the Freedom Fest fireworks show, but it takes a lot of money. Uh, there's a lot of organization that goes along with it. Tell us a little bit about the donations, how people can contribute, and what you're looking to do. Well, plenty of ways to contribute. You can contribute online, you can call, mail a check, uh, <laughs> a number of ways. Yeah, and so through the, uh, through the water bills or with the city of Tulsa, you've been sending out envelopes? That's right. In the June billing cycle, the Tulsa uh, utility bills will contain a remittance envelope and that goes to 148,000 Tulsa residents. Yeah, and, and so what's the reaction been so far? Oh, it's been good. And uh, we open the envelopes every day right there in the office and uh, really have a lot of fun looking at the um, the names of the people who um, send in their donations. Yeah, it's a little bit of a celebration almost it every is, day. Isn't every it? day. Um, uh, now, uh, because most people think that this thing just happens, but it doesn't just happen. There's a lot of work that goes into it, a lot of organization. And, and how do you guys come up with the budget and, 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 and all that kind of thing? Uh, well, we take a lot of consideration with the budget, but we have to plan for operations, for police, security, street closings, and cleanup, setup, entertainment, activities for kids. Uh, and, and again, it's around $120,000, so it's no small undertaking, and you that's definitely need the money. This year, uh, let's talk about some of the new things, because you have this VIP tent that's going to be new this year? The Stars and Stripes Pavilion. That's a brand new thing. Uh, we're inviting people to come to the River West Festival Park. We've already brought in more people than we've ever uh, seen there at the park with resources. Reserved seating. Uh -huh. and, and so what's the, the benefit of that? Just that you have your own little space there where you can see the fireworks and, and, and that kind of thing? Right. Well, one huge benefit is shade. And so it's right. a <laughs> seating <laughs> under, under a large tent. And then we'll provide beverage, food, and special kids activities for that area. And, and what's that cost? Um, that's fifty dollars a head, right. or a table of ten for five hundred. Yeah. And, and so, um, outside of that, people can just kind of line up wherever they want to. Uh, and it is free for people to go, but they do need to consider that for the river parks to be able to do this every year, they definitely need the donations. Oh, absolutely, and that's one reason we created the Stars and Stripes Pavilion. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so One Oak is is back as a sponsor. Yes, they're back this year, and they've committed for the next two years. Oh, outstanding. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, what kind, what does that do? for you guys. Does that just kind of give you that, that hold that, that you're going to be able to do this event for the next few years? Right. Well, they're the title sponsor, and with the amount that they give, that is the great starting point for us to reach out to other sponsors um, to get their commitments as well. Yeah. So there's about a week left to, to be able to raise money. Uh, how much do you need at this point? Do you have a ballpark of is how much more you need? Uh, 30000 would be nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so is that something that's doable, or is that something at this point that you really need people to step up and, and and make sure they make their donations. Uh, we need people to uh, think about the importance of July 4th to them and make their donations because every every penny helps. Uh, uh -huh. And so it's going to be a great uh, event, and we certainly look forward to it. Real quick, while I have you here, let's talk a little bit about the river trails because I know that you guys have been doing a lot of work, and there's so many compliments that come in about over the last couple of years, uh, the development and how good it looks. You guys are almost done with the uh, with most of that construction. Um, yes, uh, the the trails are open all the way around the, uh, the park, so you can make a full circle. Yeah. And right now you're still working the 53rd to 59th Street area? Right. The, uh, the trails are open for business, but um, there's still some work being done. Right. And, and, and so once that's completed, uh, I mean, it's going to be it's, it's like it's a brand new trail system. And, and being able to have that split trail most of the way, it just makes it so much more user-friendly for everybody who's out there. Oh, right. Well, thanks to the George Kaiser Family Foundation for starting that project, and we've completed those portions. So uh, you've got to come out and try it out. Yeah. What's the reaction from the, the public? Have they been pretty pleased with oh, what's going on? Absolutely there? fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some headaches along the way as the constructions happen, but you know, you got to put up with That's that to get the end result. Absolutely. Okay, well, good luck with the 4th of July. And again, you guys need the money. People can, can do it through River Parks, right? Riverparks.org. All right. Tanya, thank you very much. Thanks so much.